Hi, I'm Lance Martz. I'm the general manager of Klein Airhorns. Welcome to Klein Airhorns Basics. To get the longest life and best performance from your air system, you should plan the best location for each component. A properly planned, leak-free air system will last longer than a system that leaks and turns on every time you start your vehicle. At Klein Airhorns, we're passionate about making sure your system always runs in top condition. So here's some tips on how to best set up your air tank. First, we have to get the air from your compressor into the air tank. Use a port for installation of the air compressor's stainless steel leader hose that is at or above the middle of the tank. This will keep moisture from settling on or inside the end of the leader hose that contains the compressor's check valve. In the event that your pressure switch fails to turn off your compressor, a safety valve will prevent the system from overfilling. The safety valve must be rated at a higher pressure than the highest pressure rating of your pressure switch in order to work properly. For example, in a 120 PSI system, install a 145 PSI safety valve. For a 150 PSI system, install a 175 PSI safety valve. The safety valve must be installed at the highest port of your air tank to allow it to vent the tank in case of an overpressure emergency. The pressure switch senses the air pressure inside the tank and tells the compressor when to turn on and off. Every pressure switch has two values, a turn on pressure and a turn off pressure. This Klein Model 2145 pressure switch will turn the compressor on when the tank pressure drops to 110 PSI, then will turn the compressor off when the pressure reaches 145 PSI. For best results, mount the pressure switch in a port that is not directly across from the port with the compressor's leader hose, and never mount the pressure switch at the bottom of the tank. When you compress air into a tank, you will also produce water. This water should be drained often from the tank to keep the system as dry as possible. The drain uses gravity to remove moisture, so it must be installed in the lowest port available on your air tank. The purpose for storing compressed air in an air tank is to perform tasks using air. Whether you are honking an air horn or using air tools, you'll have to get air delivered to whatever you're powering. This is usually done by installing a compression fitting and air tube. Always install compression fittings at the midsection or higher on your air tank to provide clean, dry air for use.